Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Motorcycle Rescue and Review. Today, I'm going to be talking about a new purchase for me. This is a used bike purchase. This is Kawasaki's 2015 Versus 1000 LT. And this is just an incredibly capable machine. There is a school of thought that you can't get a nice bike when you buy used, and really, from what I've seen in my experience, a lot of your best values are in the used bike market. This bike just represents, you know, a, a tremendously good value for the money that you're, you're spending. You know, you can spend less than $10,000 on a used bike and get a bike that has anti-lock brakes, traction control, you know, multi-mode traction control, different power settings, and really is something that's going to, if you take care of it and maintain it properly, and you buy a nice example to begin with, you have a bike that's going to last you for a long time, and you know, it's at a, it's at a significantly reduced cost to buying new. I'm very thankful for people who do buy new bikes, and I get it, you know, if you want to be the first one to own something. When this bike came out, it was not in the realm that where I wanted to afford it. It was it was a little bit too expensive. I've waited several years here, and now I can pick up a really nice machine, really nice clean bike. You know, it has all the features that I really like, and you know, pick it up for a reasonable amount of money. So I'm just going to give you some quick specs on this bike. I'll go over and do a full review of it in a later video. But uh, like I say, I just picked this up. It's a one owner bike. It has 23,000 miles on it. It has been well maintained and it's really a clean example overall. Some of the just kind of quick specs on the Versus 1000. This thing has the 1042cc fuel injected motor out of the Ninja 1000 and Z1000. On the dyno, it makes about 127 horsepower and 76 foot-pounds of torque. It is significant in the amount of power that it makes. Also significant is how easily, smoothly, and controllably it delivers that power. Just delivers it very, very nicely. And so, unlike some other bikes that are a little bit raw with their mapping and the fuel injection, this bike is smooth and it really allows you to go quickly, easily, and confidently. And I love that. Another feature that I really, really like is the ergonomics on this bike. It's got plenty of legroom. It's got wide, comfortable handlebars. The seating position is nice. You know, this bike has a seat concepts seat on it, so it's an upgrade over the stock seat. It also has some nice optional features on it, including the fog lights up front. It's got a gear indicator that was optional, a power outlet. And as I said earlier, this has you know multi-mode traction control. It has analog brakes, multi-mode power settings. So you can even, in a rainy day, you can uh, limit your power. You know, just tremendously safe, really nice features to have, especially on a higher horsepower machine. These bikes handle great and, and really, man for the money, it is, it's just another one of those bikes. It does everything so well, and it's so capable, and it's got so many nice, practical tech features that it just represents a tremendously good used bike value. It's the kind of bike that I ride, and I've got the sophistication of a lot of the European bikes in a bike that really, it cost me less to buy, and it's going to cost me less to maintain over the course of its life. And, you know, if I'm riding it and maintaining it, the lifespan on this is every bit as good or better than a lot of your European brands as well. And that's not a knock on the European stuff. I'm just saying from a just dollars and cents standpoint, uh, the amount of performance you get on this bike and the amount of capability is really high for the amount of money that you spend. So, yeah, and I just think this is a neat machine. I can't wait to get out and do a review on it. I'm also going to do a video where I service the bike and go over it and make sure that it's, it's safe for me to ride if I'm going to be riding it on a regular basis. So I'll check things over, you know, from front to back and just look at everything and make sure it's, it's ready to go. I'll do a video, post a video on servicing this bike. All right. I hope you found this video informative and entertaining. And until next time, Enjoy the ride.